Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how you can build this mini catapult that will shoot marshmallows, rocks, or other small objects to distances of more than 30 feet. A full materials list and printable plans are in the description down below. We're going to cut and shape these 10 pieces that are going to be used to make up the frame of the catapult. We recommend hardwoods because there's a lot of tension and forces at play during use. We're going to start with our end legs. Diagrams with all the dimensions you need are linked down below in the description. Many of the different components, like the legs, use notches in them. We're going to use the table saw and a flat topped blade. We're going to set our height and use the fence so we can control exactly where those notches go and just nibble away what's not required. On many of the pieces, we also spruced up the ends a little bit, giving it a little bit of a bevel on the sander. It's not necessary, but just adds a little bit of a nice look to it. Second, we're gonna do our side rails. As with the legs, we're going to add a notch to each one to fit our uprights. We're then going to drill our square hole for our center leg. I just drilled the majority of it out with a Forstner bit and squared it off with a jigsaw. Easy peasy, one square hole. Using the same table saw technique, we're going to square off each end of the center leg to fit in the hole. I like to start it a little oversized and work my way up to a perfect fit. Just remember, every time you raise the blade though, you're taking off twice that much as you could take off some on each side. Once we have our size dialed in, we can finish off doing the leg and do the other end. We're gonna shape that center leg a little further. I drew out some basic designs on the wood. Now I'm gonna cut them on the bandsaw and then finish them up on the sander. One center leg, ready to go. This is where we're at so far. Don't glue it up yet. Using the plans, we're gonna cut our two uprights and do the notch for the top rail. I printed off my brace template I traced it out on my wood blank and cut it out on the bandsaw. I placed some reference marks on my side rail and upright. I laid the brace on and marked it out so I'd know exactly where I needed to cut for a perfect fit. Using the bandsaw, I cut them out. For the final step on my side rails, I drilled out the two 5 8 inch holes. Using the plans, I cut out my top rail. Now we have all the frame components ready for glue up. I started with the three legs. the uprights and the braces. And then finally our top rail. This was a good time to give it a coat of finish. Now we're going to move on to the arm of the catapult. It consists of three pieces, a three quarter inch piece of dowel and two blocks of wood. We're going to drill a hole in the end of each one to fit our three quarter inch dowel, three quarters of an inch deep. On the smaller bottom piece, I rounded everything to get rid of all the sharp edges. 
For the bucket, I first cut out the basic shape. I drilled a hole to give me a starting point. I then took my Dremel with my carving bit and shaped it till I felt it was what I wanted. I glued the bottom section to the arm and drilled a 5 16 inch hole. You can now glue on the bucket, just make sure that you have it orientated correctly. Using our two small dowels from our materials list with a 3 16 hole and about 10 feet of 1 8 inch nylon cord, we're going to assemble the catapult arm. Slip one end of your cord through a dowel and tie it off. I'm going to start threading our rope through our assembly. Through one side, through the center of the arm, and then back out the other side. We're then going to go through our second dowel, and then back through the frame, back through the center of the catapult arm, and back out the other side again. We're going to go around our dowel and back through again. Again through the center of the arm and out the other side. If you're getting some value out of this video, appreciate it if you'd hit like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. Now we've got three passes through the center of the arm. We're going to change things up a bit. We're now going to go around each of the dowels and start going above and below the catapult arm. I'm going to continue this doing kind of a figure eight pattern. We'll go around the dowel, this time below the arm, then around the dowel and above the arm and continue doing it till we have four strands on each side of the dowel. So when we're done, we'll have three strands running through the middle, four strands on top of the catapult arm, and four strands below the catapult arm. Now we can tension the arm up. We're going to line everything up and start twisting the two dowels towards the front of the catapult. We're going to continue to twist each of the dowels until we have good tension on both sides of the catapult arm. You can hammer in a little nail or something to hold that catapult tension in place. I wanted to spruce it up a bit, so I added some gears just for the looks. I played with a number of different options for readying the catapult from gears and levers and ropes. But in the end, I just went with two eye hooks and a rod. The others just kind of got in the way of the fun of it. If you want that more authentic look, it's certainly something you can play with. I went with simplicity. I added cushioning rope to the top rail and the catapult arm. I would certainly recommend it. Add a little more to the front rails just for some decoration. This was my first test fire. The door is about 30 feet away from my table saw and I hit above the door. Great distance. So get building, make your own catapult and have some fun. 
If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll do the best that we can to help you. Go shoot some marshmallows.